Not so while ago I decided to upgrade the sound system of this car. This Audi A3 from 2004 comes with the Audi concert radio that originally does not support USB, AUX or any other music source except CD and radio stations. Then I decided to add these USB and AUX ports, which were very good and practical. I made these ports by using the Atur YTM06 module. You can watch the whole video about how I have installed that module and how I have made these ports up there. For the reason that I'm very satisfied with that module because it works very well even after more than 2 years, I have decided to upgrade my sound system with yet another Yatur module. This time I'm going to add Bluetooth capability to this Audi concert radio. I need to mention that this module is an addition to the previous one and cannot work as a standalone. So, to install this module into your car, you must have previously installed Yatur YTM05, 06 or 07. Ok, let's see what is inside of this package. I've ordered this Yatur module from the eBay like previous one and it has product code YTBTM, which stays for Bluetooth module. It's very well packed and the first that I have found inside is this microphone with a 3.5mm jack. The second thing inside of this package is the module itself, with the very quality cable. The module has two 3.5mm female connectors, where one of them is for the remote controller and another one is for the microphone. Unfortunately, I do not get a remote controller. The module has been made in China and supplied by a German company. Within the module you will get a short user manual. Here is a picture of how the remote control looks. Also, there can be found frequently asked questions which I will cover later in this video. Without any further, let's move on and implement this into the car. If you have watched my video about the integration of the YTM06 module, you know that I have hidden the module behind the glow box, which I need to remove now first. To remove the glow box I need to remove 8 screws, 3 on the right side, 3 inside and 2 down below. Once when I take off the glow box, here you can see the Yatur adapter which I have been added before more than 2 years. After releasing those zip ties, now we have better look. As you may know, here I have implemented this extender cables for USB and AUX which goes all the way up there to the radio where I have connected my USB stick. Here on the front side of the Yatur adapter, there is a one free port. That port is exactly where the Bluetooth module connects to. I will take my Bluetooth module and connect it to the Yatur M06 adapter. Once when I connect the module, I will also connect the microphone to the Bluetooth module, after which the module is ready for testing. Turn the key to the accessory mode and turn on the radio. This music that you hear right now is coming from the USB stick above the radio. If you take a look at the Bluetooth module, you can see that light blinks every 2 or 3 seconds, which means that the module is in pairing mode and it's not connected to the any device. I will now take my phone and try to connect it to the module. Ok, first I will go to the Bluetooth settings by holding this Bluetooth icon. Then I will turn on my phone's Bluetooth. After some time, in the list of the available devices, a new device with the name BTM has just appeared. That is our module, so click on it to connect. Immediately after the successful connection, you can notice that the light on the module stops with blinking and now there is a solid red light which means that module is now connected with the phone. 
If I open the Bluetooth settings of this device, we can see that this device is capable of playing music and making calls. If you don't want to receive calls on this module, you can turn off that option here. Ok, I'm going now to play some music. When I press the play button on my phone, previously playing sound on the radio will be muted and music from the phone will be automatically streamed to the car's radio. Now I can control music completely wirelessly by using my phone. To stop the streaming from the phone and let the radio play previous music from the USB stick, we need to completely exit from the phone's music application. Then the radio will resume the music from the USB exactly from the point where it stops. Another great feature of this Bluetooth module is the fact that when you are streaming music from the phone and you need to pause the song, you don't need to press the pause button on the phone, instead you can use the fast forward button on the radio. That is great because you don't need to search for your phone, instead you can be more concentrated on the road and the driving. When it comes to receiving calls, this module works flawlessly. Even when the music plays on the radio, the module will mute the song and play the ringing tone from the phone. For answering the call, you can use the fast forward button on the radio. Once, when you want to end up the call, press the fast forward button again. The call will be ended and the module will resume the previously playing song. Also, for speaking on the call, you can use the microphone that is connected to the Bluetooth module. I've decided to put the Bluetooth module behind the glow box as well as the Atur adapter YTM06. Bluetooth module cable that goes into the adapter was too long, so I've gathered it with some zip tie. For the microphone location I've decided to put it near to the driver's side in the corner of the windshield to achieve the best sound quality in time of making calls. For the end, let's quickly go through the few of the most asked questions about this module. Is the YTBTM able to work alone? The answer is no, it works only together with the Yatur adapter. Can I change the songs on mobile by using buttons on the radio? I'm not sure about this, but in my car this function does not work and I'm not able to change the songs by pressing buttons on the radio. Are we able to connect several phones at the same time? Currently, YTBTM allows you to connect only one phone at the same time. Will an incoming call mute the audio playback from iPod, USB drive, SD card or AUX player? When there is an incoming call, audio playback from any source will be automatically paused and mute. AUX player will not pause but will mute. So that would be all for this video. Hope it will help you if you decide to implement this module into your car. For any further questions, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway. Thanks for watching and goodbye.